Hey, good morning, Facebook world. This is Jimmy Humphrey, just coming to you live. You know, I've been hearing a lot about alternative facts and fake news lately, and I just wanted to briefly address that. I find it very interesting that there's been just this major eruption uh, in the media in the last uh, six months or a year or so about alternative facts and fake news, um, when in fact there's nothing new about fake news and alternative facts. In fact, since the dawn of mankind, all the way back in the Garden of Eden, when the devil first approached uh, Eve and said, Has God not said uh, there has in fact been fake news? Um, and there's been fake news throughout all the course of human history. Uh, one of my favorites is when Napoleon once came back from battle uh, in, a, in a war that uh, he lost uh, and had tremendous loss of life, he came back and reported to his own people that he had won the war. Um, so, you know, seeing that uh, journalists, you know, report fake facts and news and politicians lie, shocking, I know, uh, we, we act like this is something new. Uh, but in truth, um, the, 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 the thing you're seeing in the media a lot lately about fake news and alternative facts isn't the fact that there's fake news and alternative facts so much as the fact that there is uh, more sources than ever today competing for your attention on social media and on TV to report what the news actually is. Um, that translates into ratings, that translates into dollars, that translates into brand loyalty, uh, marketing, uh, whatever you want to say uh, about how uh, news companies ultimately make their dollar. That That's ultimately what this boils down to. There are so many... Uh, it's so cutthroat in the news business today. It's so cutthroat in the social media business today. Uh, it's so cutthroat in the world of journalism that everybody has to get upset about fake news because, frankly, they're worried about people clicking on other sources of news and going to other websites and watching other news stations uh, than they are, in fact, worried about, um, you know, whether somebody is saying something that's true or not. Uh, journalism journalists have reported uh, untruths <laughs> for as long as uh, as, as uh, journalists have been around. Um, so you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, this is not about whether Donald Trump's a liar or not. Of course, he is, uh, or whether his uh, you know his press secretary lied yesterday. Uh, of course, he lies. That's what presidential press secretaries get paid to do. They get paid to spend and lie. Um, so it's not like this is new. Uh, but the fact is, today we live in a very competitive landscape in which everybody's trying to make a buck, and everybody needs you to click their article first before you click somebody else's. Um, and they're worried that, uh, not about the truth itself, but they're just worried about, ultimately, losing business and uh, losing your attention span. So anyway, I just thought I'd toss that out there. Uh, tell me what you think. Write down below. Uh, that's what I think about fake news and alternative facts. So everybody have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.